so I'm here with Dave, the CEO from Vlingo, and we're going to do a live demo of Vlingo, the newest iteration that's coming out tomorrow. It's it, you can hear the background is it's very loud, and I've already seen it earlier. Some impressive stuff that he can talk to the Vlingo app. No hand touching, no touching the screen. It's voice interaction with the app, and how he's going to demo how he can use Vlingo in his app. Right, so this is our in car which launches tomorrow morning and you can set it up one of two ways. You can have a Vlingo automatically go into car mode when it detects a Bluetooth connection or before you start driving click on the car icon and we go into uh, car mode and now Vlingo is always listening. That's the red icon in the upper corner. Um, and you have to give the phone a wake-up word because if I'm driving with a friend and say if you called your mom I don't want it just to start calling so what we can do either over Bluetooth or if it's on the dash I can say hey Vlingo hey, is this something about voice? send text message to Aaron Kelleher what time is dinner? Now it's hard to hear it, but she's in this loud environment, she's speaking back, she's saying, she's reading the words to me, what time is dinner, and asking, don't send. She was asking, do I want to send or speak it again in case with all the background noise, there's a misrecognition error. The other cool thing we can do, um, you can call, Safe Reader is the function if an incoming message comes in, it'll be read to you, and navigation is um, getting directions. So I'm going to dinner, I can say, hey Vlingo, navigate to the Epic Roast House. And so for navigation, we just mash up with Google Maps and go off and get the GPS location and start doing turn-by-turn -turn directions. And as you can see, we put in the Epic Roast House there with the speech recognition. And I don't know if you guys caught that, but Kellen Hanger is not a common last name. <laughs> We're in a very, very loud environment, and it picked up that in these keywords. I've talked with industry analysts, and one of the key things that they said is, those kind of keywords is what we kind of suggested as something that you should look into to wake up the phone. And these guys are actually doing it. It's coming out tomorrow with CTIA, um, the 7th, I want to say, the 6th, the 7th, and it's coming out on Vlingo app. So catch it in the Android market. I'm pretty sure it's going to come to the iPhone market. And That's right. These guys are doing it, and you can see it live in this demo.